The chase returned to ITV on Thursday evening, with host Bradley Walsh welcoming four new contestants hoping to leave the studio with some cash. However, the quiz show was thrown into unexpected chaos when Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, unexpectedly took to the stage, much to the surprise of Walsh and the audience. As Meghan confidently strode onto the set, Walsh was visibly taken aback, quickly uttering a brutal forward response that left the royal visitor stunned. But before we continue, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. The unexpected incident began when one of the contestants, a 34-year-old office manager named Sarah, had just faced off against the chaser. After securing a respectable £4,000 in her cash builder round, Sarah stepped up to the podium, ready to take on the chaser in a high-stakes head-to-head round. Just as the tension was building and Walsh was about to commence the round, movement in the corner of the studio caught his eye. To his astonishment, Meghan Markle had emerged from the backstage area and was making her way towards the stage. Clearly perplexed by the unexpected guest, Walsh turned to Meghan and, without missing a beat, delivered a scathing forward response. What are you doing here? The audience erupted in a mixture of gasps and laughter, while Meghan herself appeared momentarily taken aback by Walsh's blunt greeting. Undeterred, the Duchess of Sussex continued her march towards the stage, offering a warm smile and a regal nod in response to Walsh's query. I've come to offer my support to the contestants and to highlight the important work of the Prince's Trust, of which I am a proud patron, Meghan explained, her voice confident and unwavering. Walsh, still visibly bewildered by the unexpected intrusion, simply nodded and gestured for Meghan to take her place alongside the contestant. The audience, sensing the palpable tension in the studio, fell silent, eagerly awaiting the next developments. As Meghan settled in next to Sarah, Walsh turned his attention back to the game, determined to maintain the show's momentum. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? He said, his tone slightly more reserved than usual. The head-to-head -head round commenced, with the chaser, known as the vixen, putting forward a series of challenging questions. Sarah, despite the unexpected distractions, managed to hold her own, correctly answering several questions and narrowing the gap between herself and the chaser. Just as the round was reaching its climax, Megan leaned in towards Sarah and began whispering furiously, her hands gesturing animatedly. The audience watched in stunned silence, unsure of how Walsh would react to this brazen interruption. To their surprise, Walsh simply shook his head and, with a wry smile, addressed Meghan directly. I'm sorry, your royal highness, but I can't allow you to assist the contestant. This is the chase, not the royal variety performance. The audience erupted in laughter, appreciating Walsh's quick-witted response. Meghan, her cheeks flushing slightly, nodded and sat back, allowing Sarah to continue the round uninterrupted. In the end, Sarah managed to secure her place in the final chase, much to the delight of the audience. As she celebrated her victory, Megan approached her, offering a warm embrace and words of congratulations. Walsh, ever the professional, welcomed Megan's show of support, but firmly reminded her that the studio was his domain. We're glad you're here, your highness, but let's keep the focus on the contestants, shall we? He said, his tone laced with a hint of playful admonishment. Megan nodded in understanding, and the show continued without further incident, with the four contestants ultimately securing a respectable £60,000 collective win. As the episode drew to a close, Walsh took a moment to address the audience and the viewers at home. Well, that was certainly an unexpected twist in the tale. He chuckled. I have to say, I've had some interesting guests on the chase over the years, but the Duchess of Sussex has to be one of the most surprising. I'm just glad we were able to keep the focus on the contestants and their hard-earned victory. The audience erupted in applause, clearly delighted by the unexpected drama that had unfolded on the set of their beloved quiz show. In the days following the incident, the media was abuzz with reports and commentary on Meghan's surprise appearance on The Chase. Some praised her for using the platform to highlight the work of the Prince's Trust, while others criticized her for seemingly attempting to steal the spotlight from the contestants. For his part, Bradley Walsh remained characteristically tight-lipped about the encounter, declining to comment further on the matter. However, those close to the television veteran suggested that he had found the entire situation rather amusing, 
taking it all in stride with his trademark wit and charm. As for Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex has not publicly addressed the incident, though sources close to her suggest that she was simply eager to engage with the British public in a more informal setting, away from the glare of the royal spotlight. Regardless of the various interpretations and reactions, one thing is certain. The Chase's unexpected royal visitor has provided fans of the show with a moment of unforgettable television that is sure to be talked about for years to come.